Hey everyone, it's Desiree and I am here with another design team project for Rubber Stamp Tapestry. And this one, we are going to focus on this peg stamp set um, and it's called Triple Floral Dragonfly. And yes, we were going to lose that little tiny dragonfly there. Um, but when I saw this, this is has been out for some time um, and it is still available, so don't think it's not. Um, and of course, I'll always have it linked down below. But what I saw when I saw this stamp is the ability to stretch our supplies. And what I mean by that is our distress inks or water reactive inks. So, um, you know, whatever inks you may have, if they are water reactive, this technique will work with any of those. Um, the water reactive inks that I definitely have and I love to work with are the distress inks so i've pulled out the colors that i'll be using which again will be linked down below and this is what the peg stamps look like i love the fact that this here has an outline and we're going to use that to our advantage and even use this one to our advantage as well all right so let's get started i've taken care of uh, many different things here. I've already pre-cut my cardstock. I've got my sentiment ready so that we'll be able to just get to stamping. I've got my water brush here off to the side with my rag. I have a little pot of water there. I have my baby wipe. I was testing out some things to make sure that this was going to work. Um, and thank goodness it does. I just need to grab my sponge dauber, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my sponge daubers. I always forget something, but that's okay. All right, so what I'm going to do first is kind of save for the stamping here, but I have these little tiny circles that I've cut out that are going to match the color palette that I've chosen. And I just want to ink around them. So the greens that I've pulled are Rustic Wilderness and Shabby Shutters. My flowers are going to be Wild Honey, Faded Jeans, and Crackling Campfire. I've chosen a brown walnut stain, black soot, and then for my background, I'm going to use Speckled Egg. So those are the colors that I've chosen. And I did forget one more thing, so I will be right back. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to, I want to see actually which one. I'm looking at the shabby shutters that I'm going to use the Rustic Wilderness. And I just want to go around the edges lightly. Now, I know I never have, you know, a light hand, but that's okay. Just want to go around these and I'm taking some of the ink off onto my towel here these towels were great um, or it's going to be interesting actually so these towels I forget where I got them it was like a grab bag I'm sure some of you one of you are gonna know what this is and it's signed um paper fashion so as i keep adding ink to it it's just going to be really interesting and i'm going to be curious if this could be like a cover to one of my journals um so i'm, I'm looking forward to what this turns out to be okay so for my um yellow ones i'm going to use the wild honey same thing, I'm just going to dab off just a little bit. And then again, just going around those edges, just adding a hint of color. I don't want too much, but I just want to add a hint. And since these are the colors that I'm going to be using for the flowers, this will help to you know, kind of like tie everything together. I'm going to come in with the crackling campfire. And 
And again, I'm really going to make sure I dab off because it is such a beautiful, bold color that it will actually just take over on the dot. And I don't want it to take that over. But again, it would be absolutely okay if it does. Right? Right. And then I'm going to come in with my faded jeans for the blue. And then these will be done. And then we could just set these aside. Okay. One more, and then I promise we will get to the inking, stamping, and all of that funness. All right, so we're just going to put those off to the side here. Okay, so now I just want to grab my scratch pad. These are just, uh, these are drawing pads from the dollar store. I think they are great just to work on um, for when I off stamp. I also love those big pads too. I just got to get another one, but these work just as well. So I'm using a piece of cold press um, watercolor paper. And usually when it comes to your watercolor paper, you have two sides. You have a, a rougher looking side, a more texture side, and then a flatter side. So I really do want to have the texture side on this and I'm going to start with my flowers first and I'm going to start with the faded jeans and just going to start stamping making sure just to get a feel for how this is let's see I'm going to put that there and I'm going to hold these just a little bit so that I can get the impression. Give it time to go into the paper. And then I'm going to build on this side. And wow, I almost slipped. Okay. So for right now, I'm just going to do, I want to do one more. Because again, you guys know how I love my odd numbers. And I'm going to put that one right up there. All right. Now we'll clean that off. Now I'm going to come in with the wild honey. So odd numbers. There's five. All right. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to put this one here. Again, just holding just a little bit. Not too long. I don't want the flowers to touch. I want them to be nice and spread out. And then I just want one more here. And now I'm going to come in with the crackling campfire. And then I'm going to put that one there. And then that one's going to be here. And then there. And then there, and then we'll do one more here. Okay, so those are the flowers. As you can see, this is going to be a slimline card. This is actually cut to three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Okay, so three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. When I usually do a slimline, I do like uh, my slim lines to be three and a half by eight and a half. Um, let's see. I want to come in now with the lighter green, and that's going to be the vine. And now we're just going to stamp that throughout. Now remember, look for your registry. Your that registry line will tell you where this is going to stamp um, or give you an idea. Okay, so, you know, you know that that tip, this tip here, okay, is going to go just like that. And that's what I'm looking for. Um, you know, I think that's all I'm going to put down there. So now I'm going to come up here. 
and now we're just going to keep on filling these in now again I'm not going to do too many but I do want these to be in the background and that's what I'm looking for here I want too many um, because we've got this other leaf that's going to come in and somewhat take over but you know not too much you know it's not gonna go crazy and you know what I have an empty spot there so I'm just going to put that like that and then I do want one like that still have that empty spot there what do you think you agree so we're gonna do that there we go all right oh one more just need one more there we go okay now I'm going to come in with the darker green that will kind of you know take this over and it's solid now what I'm going to do though is I'm going to stamp off because I just want a hint of this color and I'm just placing this every every so often and again that's gonna be more of a filler and I'm trying but it's okay if I do I don't want to necessarily touch the flowers but it's okay if I do but I'm okay going over the other greens and you'll see why so this looks soft as we're stamping it you know nothing too harsh which is good and then I just think I'm gonna add just a couple more up here and then one right there okay I think yeah you know what I need one more there we go okay so now now there's one more there's a couple more stamps that I haven't used yet and we'll use those in a minute but what I want to do now is move this color this is what we're doing if it's you know if you're not comfortable with watercolor um, or you want to know where to start this is a nice place to start now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in so that you can see just a little bit more I can't zoom in too much but we'll give that a shot and I'm going to try to remember to keep my paper there so I'm going to come in with my water and I'm going to brush take it off and I'm just going to dab onto my towel to get some of that water out and I'm just going to go into these images and move the color now what's nice is with the stamped image that I have I'm still going to see that stamped image I am NOT looking for perfection here but just by moving that color I get an outline and I'm just looking to touch the tip of where that's stamped so that I can pull that color down I don't need it to be solid because then I'm taking away from that watercolor look and that's what I'm striving for here just to give the look you know of a watercolor some of the greens I did touch the flowers which again that's okay but I am just going to do the flowers right now and if you heard that that was my cat launching off the chair because again I want those white spaces I want those areas that are open so it doesn't have to be you know a perfect I don't like I don't need it to look perfect 
So again, I'm going to go through these as well. And I don't want to lose the outline either. So it's like a scribble that I'm doing with the tip of my brush. And when I know that I'm going to go into that same color, which I do, I am just going to keep moving through those colors. Now I'm really going to move that green because I want it to be just a little splotchy. And again, I'm using a brush, the point of my brush, just to dig in just a little bit, but nothing too crazy. And these brushes are great because they do hold on to water and they give me a great fine tip. I honestly, I believe I got these from Amazon. Um, and I am just very pleased um, with them. I've been working with them. They're not listed yet because I'm still uh, playing with them. So now I'm going to go in and do the crackling campfire. I am just in love with this color. It is so vibrant. And you'll know when you're working with this, making sure I'm in screen there, if your brush is, if it needs a little bit more water, you'll be able to tell that because I always do want to have that watercolor look. Now this here, I've got a little bit too much water, but again, it's okay. It'll just take longer to dry. And what I'll actually do is I'll go back in after this is clean, take some of my water up and then I'll come in and just try to sop some of that water up even more just to get rid of some of it. All right, now on to the blue. I love this blue shade and how this comes out um, it's almost like a powder blue. I think it is really, really pretty. But again, just trying to hit those, the tips of the flowers to pull down the color. And again, you're just getting that hint. It's a nice, soft effect. And again, I'm not losing that stamped image. Again, it's paper, it's ink, it will sop up in there. Again, your distressings are not, you know, watercolors. We can just have fun watercoloring with them. So now I'm coming in on these leaves and I'm just moving that color around, just having fun with it. not losing that detail, but just creating more of a shade. Some of them are a little bit darker than others, which is great. You get that difference when it comes to the shades. And then I'm just really just scribbling along, making sure that I hit all of them. I almost forgot about these little two here. And then going into that one. And being very, very careful because my flowers are still wet. I don't, while I'm okay with some of the green, you know, going into the flower, I was okay with when I was doing the flowers to pick up the green. I don't want the green to get lost in there. All right, now we can go into these. All right, now how easy was that? And it looks like you watercolored, which is 
what we want. It's beautiful. It's easy. And these peg stamps make it so easy with those images. Okay, let me come back because then I'll be able to zoom back out. And we are back and you can see that I can zoom back out now. <laughs> so you can see I still have some dampness um, on my piece and that's okay. I'm going to let that dry right there. And what I'm going to come in with now is my walnut stain and there's this little tiny vine and I'm just going to come in with that just in a few areas break up all of that green and color just a little bit nothing too crazy and if it starts bleeding that's okay Again, that will be the difference that we get for our piece. And again, just having fun using that to fill in. I'm, I'm actually, when I'm done stamping, I'm kind of stepping back and, and looking at it to say, okay, what's what's kind of open, um, but I like the way that that's flowing. Now we're gonna hold off on the dragonfly. And what I'm gonna do now is bring in my sentiment. Now I just wanna check, I still have some areas that are still damp. And what I'm doing is I'm tilting this, like this is a little bit wet still down here, but I can use, um, I can put my sentiment down. So the sentiment that I'm going to be using is um, from Simon Says Stamp and CZ Design. I just love that, just because. Um, what more do we need to say, right? So I've got that ready. So I put it on some vellum with what I call and refer to as the cloud because it's what I call it. I call that the cloud. <laughs> and then I use some black cardstock. So I want this to sit right there actually got that nestled pretty conveniently there but I want to use these dots so you know with vellum you can see everything that is put down we can see through it and I I don't know about you but I am so not in the world of uh, cutting so to speak uh pieces of cardstock to to be that size so what i'm doing is i'm just placing these down looking at how this piece goes but creating these clusters so if i put this down I'm kind of liking that, but I can stretch this one out just a little bit more. I can stretch this out. So I'm almost creating like a backdrop, so to speak. All right, these need to come in just a little bit more. That one needs to come out. I know, who would, who would take this time? Well, what can I say? All right. So I think I've got this. That needs to just come in just a little bit more. That one needs to come in just a little bit more. So what I'm going to do now, you're like, okay, now that she's done all of that, <laughs> well, we're, we're going to gamble. That's why we have papers down on our desk, right? <laughs> or our workstation. I'm still only going to put glue down onto my letters. And what I'm actually going to do is hope that I hit those dots the way that I'm envisioning that I'm going to hit those dots. Okay. Oh, no, wait a minute. Let me clean that up there because I'm seeing that. But you know what? That's okay. I need a pair of tweezers because I'm going to wear this. All right, so I'm going to take this down here, 
lay that down there come across here I'm gonna scoot that over and now we'll pick that up there so I'm just gonna push down on the black now I'm gonna come in with my tweezers and lift this up and then clean off the glue and there you go so that's what we've got now I'm gonna put this upside down just push on those now I've got a spot to put my my things that I can't remember. So let's do our layering. And I think I'm going to let this be just like this. Um, matter of fact, I think I'm going to come in with some speckled edge. Speckled edge. Wow. Special, yeah, mm -hmm. special, yeah, speckled egg. I didn't think I was going to get that out. Just on the corners here, very lightly, just very, very lightly. I mean, you'll, you'll, you're going to, the camera is barely going to pick this up. And that's okay. I just want a very faint color of this. Because I have two mats that I'm going to use. And honestly, I only want it to really show in this area. There we go. So barely visible, barely, barely visible. Okay. All right, so now let's do our layering. So I am going to use my liquid adhesive. You get to hear that awesome scratching sound. So I have a green for my first mat. And again, for my greens, when I do mats like this, I am using a Recollections cardstock. It's 65 pounds. Um, I think it's at a perfect price point. Um, and I just love all of the colors that are available. Now I'm also pulling in a black matte because that will help to pull the sentiment because I have part of the sentiment in black. All right, we're making sure that that is straight. Oh, I've got to get my card base ready. Okay. So let me do that because I don't think I have any of those. Oh, maybe I do. Oh, could it be? Oh, oh, yay me. All right, so here's my card base. And again, I always um, cut my card base eight and a half by seven and I score it on the three and a half. All right, so I can take an eight and a half uh, sheet of paper eight and a half by seven so i cut four inches off on the long side and then that four inches that i have will give me a four by four card base so i get two card bases from it all right so now what i want to do first though is take my sentiment and i just want to put that there And here comes our little tiny dragonfly. So hopefully, fingers crossed, he is just going to be this little guy. So I'm going to hold this down. And I'm going to stamp one here. And now you all have to remind me how this goes. And then I'm going to stamp on here. Okay. 
And you guys know I've got to go in threes. And I think I'm going to put one here. There we go. Okay. Now, so I don't lose that spot. Yes, I'm going to come in. I'm going to come in underneath this blue and I'm going to put a mark there. And I'm going to come in below this one and just put a mark there. Oh my God, it's stuck. There we go. Okay. So now I can take this, add it to my card base. straight and the fun part because I really really wanted this sentiment to be raised now I do know that I'm going to have you know some hills or valleys in this you know I could have filled in more had them separated out but this is an idea because I know me I am not going to cut, I mean, I would, I would need like three of these to, to put down here, and that would just drive me crazy. Um, so I thought this was a good way to be able to prop up these beautiful sentiments that we have access to with those awesome clouds that we want to do in vellum, just say. <laughs> <laughs> need my tweezers again all right now I'm going to turn it this way and it was the blue and I'm going to attempt to make it straight here we go And I'm just pushing on each of those. So now we have our sentiment raised, we have the vellum, and we have all of this awesomeness. Now I'm going to do one more thing because can't let those dragonflies be like that. So I'm digging into my stash and I have these awesome gems that were from a previous kit by Pink and Maine. There we go. And I'm just going to put a dot. And for the bodies, I'm going to add. And yes, I'm going to use my wax pencil. I'm going to add one of these beautiful iridescent black gems. And there we go. Okay, now I have gems all over the place. It's okay. Put these away because if you don't, you know what's going to happen. They're going to go all over the place. All right, and that is our card. I do hope you enjoy this. Um, I hope I gave you some ideas, especially, you know, some different tricks on how we can prop those little sentiments up without going crazy cutting small <laughs> dimensional things. So, now, what the other thing that you can do as well um, is actually take this sentiment do it in the same color as black so you would actually you know use three or four of these layers layer them up and then put your layer of um, vellum and then put your sentiment on top of that as well so 
it looks like that the vellum's cutting through it. So that's the other way that you could go as well, and it would be more secure if you are mailing things. So something to think about. Just another idea. This is what I do. I sit in my room and go crazy. So that is it. Now, what we can also do, where did I put it? Let's grab a black pen real quick. Yeah, I forgot to do this. And just add some dots in the center of our flowers. Nothing too fancy. Just adding those little dots. And what that does is it just gives it a little bit of dimension, just some separation. And the black we can use because our sentiment is black and we can pull that out. Again, I'm just adding some dots. There is no rhyme or reason there. Could be a circle, could be any type of squiggle that you want. Squiggles are awesome. But since I started with dots, that's what we're gonna go with. And again, can be solid. I like mine just being scribbly. Yep, that's a word. It's a technical word. And then just finishing up these three. Probably shaking my camera tremendously there. And there you go. I just added and gave them a little bit more dimension. So, yeah. Cute. But I do hope you enjoyed this. And as always, all the products that I used will be listed down below. Remember, they are affiliate links. And what that means is some of them are affiliate links. Not all of them. Um, but some of the ones that you do click on, I will get a commission um, without any cost expense to you. So I do appreciate when you do that. If you have any questions, make sure you leave those down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Continue to enjoy your day. Smile, giggle, laugh, take time for yourself, take time with family or friends, um, but just make sure you do take that time as we continue through our journey. But remember what is most important and it always is going to be. Always be creative guys. Till next time. Take care.